Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. My name is Michaela. I am a mom to four kiddos. Yes, four kiddos. Um, and today's video, as you can tell by the title, is what I got them in their stockings. I have two boys and two girls ranging in age from nine months to seven years. So we have quite the variety here. I also just did a what I got my kids for Christmas video as far as toys go. I will link that video below as well as the videos in previous years what I got my kids for Christmas and stocking stuff for videos. I've done these probably for the last three or four years since we've got got kiddos. And when I say got, <laughs> we are foster parents um, and we just had a biological daughter nine months ago. So our family came together a little differently. So anyway, today is what we're getting their kids, the kids for their stocking. Now, let me preface this by saying, I got new stockings this year because we had monogram stockings and uh, they got discontinued and so we couldn't get one for the baby. And so I ordered a four pack on Amazon because we have two that were already different um, and we were just gonna keep those. And these, I ordered these, this four pack from Amazon. I loved this like cable knit material, but it is so old. Like it was like 18 inches, which is great for the length, but it's very uh, narrow and it doesn't stretch that much. So there's no way that everything that I got is gonna fit in these. There's just no way. I typically shop all year round as far as like, uh, clearance deals at Walmart, Target, I go to Ollie's, I do some local shopping, I do lots of Amazon deals, I watch those all year round, so I kind of gather things, and then come Christmas time, I just jumble everything up, see what I've got, fill in some gaps, if there's anything in particular that I want to add, I'll do that, so, but I start with what I've got, and this year, I just, I have too much, I have too much, I bought some things before I looked through my stash, which was a mistake. So, yeah. We're gonna start with the baby first um, because obviously she's getting less than the others. She is, I've only got a couple of things here for her. And speaking of the baby, if you hear some like rustling in the background, it's probably her. She's sleeping and I have her baby monitor in here. So let me get all of her stuff together first. Okay, so I have given her some of the things that I had planned to give her in her stocking early because she kind of jumped into some of these toys that I had for her before I expected her to. So now I've had to order a few more things once I got everything together and I was like, dang, I don't have enough for her. So I will put those up on the screen here in a second, but I'll go with what we have first. And first thing we have is this little leapfrog remote. I'm actually gonna not press anything so it doesn't wake anybody up, but she loves our TV remote. So I thought she would really like this. We had a lot of things like this when our foster daughter was a baby, but we got rid of it. We weren't expecting to have any more. So um, we had to repurchase some of that stuff. And that that was like a uh, Amazon deal for like ten bucks, and then this came from Always. It was seven ninety nine, and it is a sprinkler penguin. And as you can see here, it lays in the bath, and it's like creates a little water fountain. It's really cool. I think she'll really like it. The last thing that I have here physically is these suction cup spinners. These are everywhere this year. Um, you can use them anywhere. You can use them on the high chair. You can use them in the bath. I've seen so many people like out to eat that just like stick them on the table to occupy their kiddo. I think these are going to be really really great and these came from Amazon I think they were about 12 ish dollars I'm gonna be linking everything that I possibly can down below next we are getting her just a little set of keys I she has some of those like little play keys that don't look anything like real keys so we're getting her these keys instead because um, they look a little bit more realistic obviously but not like actual metal that she she could get hurt on. And then we also got some silicone building blocks. We have like the regular like big duplo blocks and things like that but she's still very much teething like she only has one tooth so we wanted something that she could play with but it was also fine for her to chew on because of course she's chewing on absolute everything so we got those and then lastly another thing for the bath are these like little orbals. They float in the bathtub and they have like these little uh, people, not people but animals inside. I think she'll really like these she could play with them in the bath I mean she could play with them outside of it as well so most of hers are kind of like bath toys we'll probably put some like puffs in there or some of those little baby yogurt bites in there as well just as a little treat but she's not quite there yet as far as um eating wise she's still just pretty much doing purees she was born um 
a little early and so she's kind of a little bit further behind developmentally so she's not quite there yet but if she gets there by christmas we will definitely throw those in one last thing that i found for the baby they have these at walmart every single year i had one for um our three-year-old when she was a baby and they're just these little jingle bell maracas they absolutely love these i think they're $1.98 they used to be 98 cents wow but they are $1.98 and they're such a cute little festive toy she's gonna absolutely love this that is gonna be her stocking. I'm well aware I'm gonna to have to take things out of the packaging for her. Okay, so next I will show you the candy that we got to put in their stockings. We really don't do a lot of candy. We have family, a big family, and they get stockings pretty much everywhere. And they're usually always filled with candy. Plus we have a ton from Halloween. We just don't need it. So we try to keep it simple on the candy. We always get these Kinder these Kinder eggs. They, can, they come in multi-packs and I just separate them one in each stocking then staying with the kinder i found these for the first time this year and they were at the dollar store the dollar general i believe and they're these little kinder snowmen so they're like hollow but they've got like i don't know i guess a toy on the inside yeah so i'm gonna put two in each of their stockings and like this is like so silly but these are like a dollar every year at the dollar tree but the kids love the love these they are chocolate covered santas so you get five for a dollar so i'll put one in each stocking and put the extra in the um in the candy bin i'm missing one thing of candy um i just realized i didn't bring it in here but this year they love gum they love icebreaker gum and they have these little i'm gonna try to put a picture up and um, it's a snowman but it's it's got icebreaker gum inside of it it's so cute and the kids love gum and they fight over it so i thought it would be cool to give them each their own and like put their initials on it like their treat after school every day is they get to come home get a little piece of gum and so i think that'll be good so there's no fighting and they're cute and festive so that is all the candy unless i just happen to find something really cute along the way that i can't resist so i guess next we'll go on to my three almost four year old <laughs> she'll be four in january daughter okay I do have one thing that is going to, it's a multi-pack that's going to go in all of the kiddo stockings. And that is these little Tamagotchis. If you are like a millennial, you will remember these little guys. They are like little keychain games with um, animal pets that you take care of on here. I think the kids are going to love these. It, like I said, it came from a four pack from Amazon. They weren't super expensive. They're like 10 or 15 bucks. And we're going to have one extra, which is probably good to have a backup. So that is one thing that they are all getting. My daughter loves Encanto. So she, I found this on Amazon and it is a um, Encanto microphone. And it plays the songs. It says, includes a hit song, We Don't Talk About Bruno, and Lights Up. That's like her favorite song. Um, she loves these. We've had these before. We had an Elsa one. We had a Minnie Mouse one when she was a baby. Like, she loves these. And a Baby Shark, I think. So, it was just time to get her a new one. And we had to get Encanto. As if we're not going crazy with Encanto as it is. <laughs> Uh, we'll just stick with the Encanto theme for now. Um, my husband found this at Five Below and we just absolutely had to get it. Um, again, none of this is not going to fit in their stocking. I don't know what I'm going to do. Even if I un, un op, like open this stuff, it's not going to fit. That's a problem for Christmas Eve me. But it is this little set. It was $5, which I kind of think was high, honestly, for what's in it. It comes with three bath bombs and a scrunchie. Literally, it's so expensive because of the Encanto thing on there. Like, there's nothing on the scrunchie that's Encanto, like a figure or anything. There's nothing on the bath bombs. It's literally just the colors. I kind of think this is a little high for what it was, but she loves bath bombs. She loves Encanto. She will be happy with that. Again, on the Encanto theme, all of my kids are getting croc charms in their stockings. So she, of course, is getting Encanto. These came from Amazon. Like I said, everything will be linked. It has all the different characters and different things from the movie. She's gonna love these. Um, they all have Crocs and they have never had any Croc charms and they just recently saw some probably about a month ago. And they're like, oh, I want these, I want these so bad. I literally already had these. So I had to convince them not to do that. Something that we found from Ross and uh, each of the kids have one are these little mini canvases. They love to paint and especially with the, you know, the, the winter approaching, it's gonna be, we're gonna be stuck in the house and 
so she got a rainbow 249 is so cheap i got this from one of these palette sale places local to me and i got like a bunch of these for like a dollar and it's just this little foam lip gloss she's gonna think this is so cool i have a ton of them like i've been slowly giving out to people for birthdays and whatnot but she's not got one yet because i didn't quite trust her but makeup is her, her big ask for christmas this year so she's getting this all the kids are also getting some form of a game and this is her form of game it's called a story dice let's pretend so essentially what i gather is that you have to roll the dice and make up a story with what you are chosen i think this will be really cool um it even has like what emotions you're going to have about it it's really really cool um I think this originally came from the dollar from Target dollar spot it was three dollars, but I paid a dollar for it at one of those palette places. I think she's really gonna have fun with this. We've never seen anything like that before. Again, from one of those little palette places, little Barbie Chelsea doll. It's a little rock star girl. I think she'll really like it. Um, she's kind of getting into the Chelsea dolls more than the bigger Barbies, honestly. And then another on dolls. I've had this for so long. These I think were like originally like. 10 12 dollars and these went on sale at my walmart for three dollars and 50 cents i held on to this for all this time she's just not getting pinned to lols it's not gonna fit but i'm not waiting any longer to give it to her this came from amazon um she absolutely loves crybabies she has big ones and i found this little set um i'm really not sure crybabies magic tears storyland i have no idea it says one set and contains two figures nine to ten accessories so i'm not sure what this is we'll find out it said crybabies she loves it she's gonna love this she got one thing that has not come in yet and it is this little book it is a like cut and paste book really just to kind of help her with her hand eye coordination she's gotten into cutting lately thankfully not her hair but she has gotten into like really wanting to make shapes and things like that so I thought that she would really like that. And then last but not least, she is our Play-Doh lover, our sensory kiddo. I got this little set from Amazon and it's pretty big. I was hoping it was gonna be small because I had paid $5 for this. This was originally $10, half off, got it for five. So I thought it was gonna be smaller, honestly, but it's a really cute little Play-Doh set. It has ice cream cones, sundae bowls, and it has some Play-Doh, and then it has these like drizzle that you can actually drizzle on there. I, she's gonna absolutely love this honestly she just saw this as i was she came in here when i was getting things out and i told her it was for one of her friends she's like oh i want that i'm not gonna get that why are they getting that yeah so she's getting this so that is all for my three-year-old now let's move on to my five-year-old son okay so my five-year-old is my super super artsy little one so first off we got him this how to draw monsters i've held on to this forever he's he's always been artsy i knew he was going to get into this one day and he's been recently like watching video like youtube videos of like how to draw things so i think that the, he will really like this um this came from book outlet but you can get them pretty much anywhere and then of course he's also getting um the tamagotchi and then I found these on clearance for five dollars at Walmart. These are little dirt bright dirt bike or motorcycle whatever Legos. They love dirt bikes. They love Legos. It'll be fun for them to play with and build. Then from one of those little palette places, if you remember these little games, you have to like press the buttons to get these little rings on there. They've had them before, but it's been a while. So they got these. They're dinosaur themed. So I paid like they were like two for a dollar. So I got one for each of the boys. Like I said, both boys um, are getting some form of a game or all the kids are getting some form of a game. And for him, I got Spot It. Wow. For him, I got Spot It. We've never had this game before, um, but it is Spot It Junior for ages four and up. I'll probably have to take this out of the container, but I'm really not sure what this game is. I just know that people absolutely love it. And I figured it was some form of like spy game or remembering uh, memory game they will love it and then i don't really know what these are these came from that palette place as well i think i paid like a dollar or two for them there are these smashers they have these little figures inside i'm not really sure honestly i probably shouldn't have bought this but i kind of went through a phase there i was just going a little crazy buying things so here we are we're giving it to them we're starting fresh with the new year after getting rid of all of these toys that i've held on for so long so this little smasher i have no idea what it does but it involves breaking things and it has something inside so it is what it is he's also getting a little canvas and his is a dino again this was 249 from ross 
Ross is a really great place for stocking stuffers if you haven't ever checked there. Then he's also getting this gemstone excavation kit. This actually came from the Dollar Tree. They got some of these last year and they really liked him, him especially. They have little, um, they have little gems in them and he has to dig. It's super great. He's, sent, okay, he's very sensory based as well. He will sit and do this until all the gems are gone. So he will really like that. He actually just mentioned that today that we should get another one. <laughs> and again, from the palette place, a Spider-Man comic sticker book. Again, not something looking back that I would have bought, but they love Spider-Man. It's got a book and it's got stickers. So he'll enjoy it. Next, I, I honestly did not think these were gonna be as big as they are. We got magnet house for Christmas last year and they love them, they're obsessed, him especially. So I found these, I cannot remember how much these were. These were on Amazon, but they're little bases so that you can make cars or trains or trucks or whatever. Um, you can build onto them, they're so cool. Um, there's so many different accessories. We don't actually buy the magnet brand, we buy the Picasso brand. And I, there's so many accessories on there, so many cool things that we can get them. I think I have some family members getting him some of the other stuff, but really, really excited for him to play with these. Another thing he's getting came from the palette cell, but you can find these anywhere is the Mario Kart racer. It's like little Hot Wheels. They love Mario, so he's gonna love these. And last but not least are his little croc charms. I'm gonna open these up just to get one out for you. You couldn't tell it from the box, but these are actually um, Minecraft Croc Charms. They're super into Minecraft this year, so he's gonna really, really like those. And that is all for my five-year-old. Okay, I will start with some of the things that are the same for him. And he also got one of these um, Lego dirt bikes, stunt bikes, excuse me, um, for $5 on clearance at Walmart. He also got one of the little water games with the rings. He also got one of the Spider-Man sticker books and these little smashers. And for his little book that he got, they all got one book. My daughter got the scissor book, he got the drawing book, and he loves uh, Look and Finds. I actually, I, I found this at the palette place for like a dollar, but so his little book is, it's another little spotted book. He will love them. He absolutely adores these kind of books. Next, he also got one of these little canvases. This is a, obviously a rocket. He's gonna get that. Something just to keep him occupied for a little while on a rainy, cold day. He is getting, he's into Beyblades. I got this on clearance for $2.85 at Walmart. I don't really know anything about Beyblades, but if I see something, I get it. So, a new Beyblade. This is a little big. I don't know where. They each kind of got like one big thing. Like there's no way that they're going to fit. But this is his. It is this little Bakugan set. Again, I got this from the palette place. I think it was like $5 is what I paid for it. Again, I'm not really sure. This is like, I think a ginormous Bakugan. He loves Bakugan. Loves it. Absolutely loves it. So, he'll be getting this. And for his game, he's going to think this is hilarious. Um, he absolutely loves sushi. He's like the only one that does. So I bought Sushi Go. We didn't have this game. I actually played this in college. And I, I remember it being really fun. I don't remember how to play it now. But I just remember it being super fun. Um, so I think that he'll really like it. I forget. It says ages 8 and up. But I don't remember it being that difficult. And then he's also getting this little thing. I got this from Marshalls for $4.99. It is a little thing of mini tech decks. Um, if you can tell by, by the size of my finger. They're not quite as big as the normal tech decks. But they're smaller. And they're $4.99. Last, his croc charms are Pokemon. So honestly, both the boys are into Minecraft and Pokemon. I totally would not be surprised if they kind of took some of the Minecraft, took some of the Pokemon, and had both, which is fine. So, that is everything, and wow, I do not know how I'm going to fit all this stuff in a stocking. Normally, I wouldn't have this much, but like I said, 
I was kind of going through a phase there where I was buying a lot from a palette place and I have all this stuff stored up. Some of this stuff I've been storing for years. So I'm really ready just to start fresh, give them everything that I have, get rid of everything, donate. We're donating a bunch of things that I had bought that I don't think we're going to end up using um, because I just want a fresh start for the new year. We've been really big into declu decluttering. So this is a little bit more than what they would normally get in their stockings but i really need to clear some stuff out and some of this i do i probably will open up but most of it will probably some of it will be sitting on the side of the stocking that's just reality um this year my mom doesn't even do stockings like actual stockings anymore she puts it all in like a bag or some sort like i don't know I love stockings. I always go a little overboard on stockings and honestly I may even end up adding to this because Walmart just released their Black Friday ad and they're going to be having some $10, $15 um, Switch games and I'm really thinking about adding a Switch game into each kid's stocking because for that price you just cannot beat it. There's some really cool things that are going on sale so I wanted to get this video up before Black Friday so that you guys could hopefully snag up some deals. Don't forget to check out Marshalls, Ross, um, of course, Amazon. But look at the Walmart clearance. Walmart, my Walmart is still putting out clearance stuff, even toys and things. Check it out. Save yourself some money. And I really think it's so worth it if you have somewhere to store to shop year-round the clearances that like every January and July-ish, Target and Walmart do a big toy clearance. I try to st stock up when I can. I have been there where I haven't really had the space to store things. But now I do have some, so I do try to see, grab things when I see them. But this is how we end up with <laughs> all of this stuff. So, fair warning. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment down below what you got your kiddos or if you snacked some good deals. Listen, I'm not opposed to adding to it. We're already not going to be fitting in the stocking. I will take some more ideas, you all. I really will. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys got some good ideas. If you want to subscribe, you know what to do. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.